Hi, I'm Kenny Webb, Inside Sales Manager at Frameworks Manufacturing, and today we're going to run through the installation of some interior aluminum frames. Uh, we're going to start with a Type 2 4 and 7 8 white side light frame, and the first step really is to pull all the parts out of the box and make sure you have all the necessary components. All right, we're going to start out by checking for the rough openings. We're going to measure the height and the width. So now we're going to install the header. We're going to start with the door frame header and then butt the, uh, the glass jam header over the side light to that also. Okay, so now that the headers are in place but not screwed in yet, we're going to come and install the vertical jams in below the header. Keep in mind here that you want the vertical jams to be overlapped by the headers, 3 eighths of an inch on either side. Okay, now once the frame components are in position, before you anchor them with the screws into the wall, we're going to install the clips, the corner clips at the head and vertical. And what this will do is ensure that the frame is square and plumb. Now that we've got the corner clip up on the hinge side, we're going to check and make sure that the header is level, the door frame header is level with the glass jam header over the side light uh, before we install the corner clip over the side light jam as well. Okay, next we're going to check the level of the header prior to securing the frame header to the, uh, to the drywall through drywall screws. Now we're going to check for square at the corners and then we're going to follow that by measuring for the width at each hinge location. Now that we're sure the frame is square, we're going to go ahead and secure the hinge jam to the wall using drywall screws. Now find the location of the vertical mullion and install the boss clip. Slide the floor clip into the base of the strike jam. Slide the strike jam in place over the boss clip. Use a long level, a string, or even your tape measure to ensure the strike jam is in plane. Install the glass pocket inside the strike jam. Then attach the two parts together by screwing through the face of the strike jam. Install the C406 mini clip centered underneath the glass stop. The trick is to hold the clip back a sixteenth of an inch from the edge of the base. This will ensure a tight fit when you attach the vertical mullion. Attach the base setting channel to the floor.
Next, slide the base over the setting channel and attach the C406 clips to the vertical mullions. Once all the horizontal components are in place, ensure a square opening prior to installing the drywall screws in the outside glass jam. When installing the glass stops, be sure the trim retainer is facing outside. First, insert the inside part of the glass stop into place, then with a rubber mallet, press down on the outside. When installing the snap-on trim, put the trim in place starting on the outside and snap it in place from the inside. We do recommend waiting to install the glass stop and trim on one side of the base to make installing the glass easier when the glazers come on site. Uh, it would be a good idea to tape those components together and to the frame to make sure they don't get lost. So here we have the finished installed Type 2 4 and 7 eighths side light frame. Thanks for watching the video.